Can you believe it? We actually made it to Harvest 2021, finally. Um, in the background, I'm processing Chardonnay, but before we chat about the Chardonnay, let me take you back two weeks ago um, to what we were doing in the vineyard uh, and how we were doing certain practices to really push the boundaries on quality. It's a few weeks before harvest and one of the quality parameters that we do is what we call green uh, bunch dropping. So what we'll do is we go through the vineyards uh, when we are about 80% of berets on. So that's when our normal bunches have colored about 80% and then we'll drop off anything which is behind. So you can see there's still quite a lot of green bunches here. This one's still quite a lot of like pink berries. Um, and this is very important to get ripe tannins in the wine that we don't have these green tannins and phenolically unripe bunches coming in. You do drop quite a bit of, uh, of the crop, sometimes up to 15 or 20% of the crop, but it's very important in making quality wine. So with the sampling, uh, we walk through the vineyards um, and I walk around and taste the berries to see uh, what the flavors are looking like. I also look at the pips, um, especially on the red wines. We want the pips brown. This shows that the ripes are phenolically ripe. Then we bring, we'll take a sample from the vineyard, bring the grapes back to the cellar, um, crush them, and then we'll, we'll uh, look and see what the bulling is. And the bulling basically gives us an idea of the sugar in the grapes and uh, ultimately determines the alcohol in the wine. Yesterday we picked the first grapes on Oldenburg and we took in uh, just over five tons of uh, Grenache and, uh, and also a bit of Chardonnay. So what we've done with the Chardonnay is we put it into our cool room overnight, cooled it down to about eight degrees Celsius and then we're processing today. So what we do with the Chardonnay that goes into the Oldenburg Vineyards range is uh, we whole bunch press it. Um, so the Chardonnay grapes get fed up with this conveyor into our press where we put it onto a slow um, cycle, a champagne cycle, which then gently presses the juice out. Um, let's go and taste and see what the juice looks like. So you can see the juice doesn't look very appetizing, it's slightly brown, but this is one of the secrets in making Chardonnay is that you want to oxidize the juice. We want the juice to be brown. So I don't add any sulfur to the juice. I don't add any enzyme. Um, and this will go to tank this evening. Um, we'll settle it overnight and then tomorrow we, we will rack it to barrel pretty dirty. Um, the sugar on this is about almost 22 bullings, so that's just over 13% alcohol, so lovely textbook. And it's from one of our vineyards in the Riverland um, uh, on alluvial swill. So this forms a, a very good fresh component um, in the 2021 Oldenburg Vineyards Chardonnay. Seeing that we are busy pressing the 2021 Chardonnay in the background, I thought it'd be appropriate moment to actually taste the previous vintage, the 2020. So this has just been released, um, made from two blocks of uh, Chardonnay on Oldenburg, one on very, very stony swell, almost 60, 70% um, stones, table mountain sandstone, um, and then one in the riverlands, more on alluvial swell. And we use these components. Uh, the wine went into oak barrel, um, for 10 months and about a third of it was new French oak barrels all two to eight liter barrels a lot of Burgundian coopers that we use there um, oh, on the nose you're getting that lovely just a slight toastiness almost like a pistachio nut character um, from the oak but then you have this lovely nectarines coming through um, there's a little bit of green pineapple in the background apricots even a touch of citrus, so that lovely lemoniness on the palate. Mm, lovely zippy acidity, lovely freshness, making this a really great food wine. There we go. Cheers to the 2021 harvest. This is the start. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the quality. There's exciting stuff out there. Cheers.